from system thinking perspective, there are six essential systems that every economic transition has to transform while it is establishing. I call them the transition state. First, a new, reliable enough solution rewrites cost curves. Then, a few rules and institutions click into place, and firms and finance start to reorganize around them. And this changes the game of scaling and the design of supply chains, and also the skills required to operate this new economy along with new status symbols. And all these transformations, bit by bit, change our daily behaviors and culture, first at the edges and then all at once. These six subsystems, or maybe we can call them economic system stocks, transfer together and interact with each other, but they move at different paces, and every cultural transformation leads to another breakthrough in the first system of reliability and cost curves, and everything starts shifting again. If you can read this stack for prior shifts, you can forecast the next by knowing where to look and what to watch for. But there is one more force that stands apart from these six. It is not a system, but a feedback loop that triggers when the previous six have succeeded too well, too fast, and too unevenly. I call it the winner's curse. It emerges when growth slows, but pride grows, when winners hoard gains while others are left behind, when confidence turns to arrogance and competition turns to conflict. When all these circumstances come together, they may lead to conflicts like the First and Second World War, if they were not managed wisely, and it was not managed wisely back that time. And this is not a stage of progress. It is the collapse risk built into every great transformation, obviously. But more or less, this is how transitions happen or happened in the past.